So you've completed your mock exams, you've had them back, and now you desperately want to know how can you improve your result before your final A-level? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk you through exactly how to do that. We're gonna have a look at how you can actually analyze your mock answers and use that to identify your strengths and weaknesses to come up with some smart targets. Now, I know this is so, so important for you in terms of improving. So I've actually given you a freebie link to this lesson, a little workbook to guide you through exactly how to analyze your results and to set targets to go along with this video. So I'll link that in the description below. So definitely download that if you are serious about improving your grade. So step number one is how to analyze your results. And to do this, I like to use something called marks analysis. So let me talk you through what marks actually stands for. The M stands for any question where you lost the mark, which was due to maths. So the M is for maths. A is application. So that is any question where you're given an unknown context, but you have to apply what you know. So it might be suggest or explain why the graph shows this, those types of questions. You then have the R, and that is reading the question. That might sound obvious, but a lot of people do lose marks for either misreading the question, missing one of the command words in the question, so maybe they didn't see how to describe and explain, or I do include missing out key information from the text or the graph under this heading too. The C stands for clarity of answer. And this is when you either don't fully explain yourself, or it might be you're missing the key words that you needed to have in that answer. The K stands for knowledge. So this would just be, you didn't know what the answer was, so you left it blank, or maybe you did have an attempt, but you got no marks because it was wrong. And then lastly, it's statements per question. That's what the S stands for. And this is when everything you wrote gained a mark, but you just missed off some of the key ideas. So you missed some of the statements needed for that question. So now you know what marks analysis is, you need to create a table like this. You need to have your marks on one side, so the skills, and then space on the other side to tally up every time you lose a mark, which of those skills is the reason behind it. So then look through your mock with the mark scheme and for every single question, consider which of those reasons from the marks analysis was the reason you lost that mark. Go through your entire test doing this and what you should find is by the time you've gone through the whole test, your total of the tallies should add up to the total of marks lost on your paper. Once you're at that stage, you can then have a look for any key patterns. So is there a skill that stands out that you lost the most marks on? So quite often that is clarity of answer or application questions. Those are the two big ones, but it might be a different one for you and that is absolutely fine because we're now gonna go on to, once you've got the information, what can you do about it to make sure that you do improve your exam grade? So now you've worked out which skill you are losing the most marks on, we're gonna set a SMART target. And yes, we are doing acronym number two of this video. So if you aren't familiar with SMART targets, that stands for a specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time-specified target. So what we mean by that is you have to set an exact activity that you're going to do and you need to make sure it's a realistic one that you can actually achieve and you need to set time goals linked to it. So I don't want to hear, I'm going to do more revision or more exam questions to get better application. That is really, really vague. It doesn't give you much direction at all and you haven't set yourself a time goal of when to do it, so you probably never will. Instead, you need to be setting things more like this. So let's say it was clarity of answer. What I'd recommend you set as your first target, your first smart target would be review for whichever topic you lost the most marks on as well. Review topic, let's say immunity and create a set of flashcards for all of the key words that commonly come up in the mark scheme or you can see are in bold in your textbook. And then on the other side of your flashcard have the definition. I will then test myself using these flashcards three times a week for two weeks. That is your SMART target. 
Now, if that does sound like quite a bit of work and you don't have the time to do the creation of the flashcards as well as the testing, then you can do the cheat step and just get my flashcards, which I'll link below. So I do have flashcards that cover all of the key marking points for every topic in A-level biology. So you could instead tweak your target to, I will use Miss Estrick's flashcards for the immunity topic, testing myself three times a week for two weeks. And that would be target one. So make sure it's specific, it is achievable, and you set a time goal. The next thing that is key for this to work is, when those two weeks are up, you need to review, did you meet that target? And if you did, amazing, set yourself a new target. So now you might want to move on to another topic, or you might want to take that opportunity to do a set of exam questions and then check, did your clarity of answer improve? Did you remember those key words? If the answer is no, then you need to set that target again, but maybe put in a few other topics. So the key is continually setting targets, reviewing them, and then keep doing that process over and over. So now you know what to do. The key is making sure you do actually put these steps into action, analyze your mocks, and set your SMART targets. So to help you do that, don't forget to download my free workbook to guide you through this so you can start improving as quickly as possible. I hope you found this helpful today and you are now inspired and motivated to go and analyse your results and start making those improvements to your skills and therefore your grade. If you have found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all of my top tips and freebies like this. If you can't wait and you want to get straight onto the next video, then I recommend checking out my video on application skills to see what are the top things you could be doing to improve on that one.